Now, we have some missing number problems for adding and subtracting multiples of 10. So remember, a multiple of 10 is a number that ends in a zero. But these first two problems aren't really missing number problems at all, because all we have on this side of the equal sign is an answer box, and it doesn't matter whether the equal sign comes at the start of a calculation or at the end like it usually does, we do the same thing. So here, we just need to work out 394 plus 20. So because we're adding a multiple of 10, we know that our ones digit will stay the same, and 39 plus 2 is 41. So we can change our hundreds and tens digits to a 4 and a 1, leave our ones digit the same, and we get 414. 39 plus 2 is 41, and then, because we're not adding any 1s, the 4 in our 1s stays the same. So now, something equals 412 minus 50. All we've got on this side of the equal sign is an answer box, so we just do the calculation. Again, our 1s digit will stay the same, because we're not subtracting any 1s, and 41 minus 5 is 36. So we can write 36 and then a 2, because 41 minus 5 is 36, and our 1s digit stays the same. Now, 637 plus something equals 677. So here, we can see that it's only the 10s digit that's changed. Now, whenever we have a missing number addition, we can always use subtraction to find our missing number. So we could work out 677 minus 637. But if we just look at our tens digits, we can see that we have three tens and need to make seven tens. So we need another four tens. So that's another 40, because of course our ones digit has stayed the same. Something plus 40 equals 335. So we've added four tens, and again we could work out 335 minus 40, because we have a missing number addition. Now our answer is 295. That's because 33 minus 4 is 29, and our ones digit needs to stay the same. Now, we have some missing number subtraction problems, and in this first one, it's the first number of our subtraction that's missing. So we have something minus 30 equals 439. Now, when we have the first number missing, we can use addition to find our missing number, because subtraction problems can always be read backwards as addition problems, so we can add 439 and 30, so that gives us 469, because if we have 6 tens and take 3 away, we will have 3 tens, and then the 4 in our hundreds and 9 in our ones stay the same. Now, 916 minus something equals 886. So if we ignore our ones digits because they stay the same, we can work out 91 minus something is 88. Or we could work out 916 minus 886. So our answer is 30, because 91 minus 3 is 88, and then our ones digit needs to be a zero, because if we have six ones and don't take any away, we'll still have six ones in our answer.